So in this case, we are going to consider a typical exam question uh, that is uh, on our geometry of straight lines. On question number eight, you are given study the following diagram and answer the questions below. All right, so as we can see from this, we have got an indication that these two lines are parallel. AE is parallel to the line DC. So we have got the indication that these two lines are parallel. So the first was to determine with reasons without using a protractor, meaning to say you are not measuring anything here with a protractor. No, you are not going to measure anything. You have to calculate by other geometrical reasons as it about angles on a straight line, parallel, any other geometrical reasons not to measure. All right, 8.11 value of X. So let's start with X. So if you have to consider, we have got X here, we have got also X here. Remember, you do not know what's happening there. So you must do a trial and error where X is, try and see if it can help you to form an equation. That is the major part. Can you formulate an equation? All right, there's a 3X which is outside of the triangle. Remember that the exterior angle, this one, is equal to the sum of the opposite interior, the ones that are opposite to this interior angle, the ones that are opposite. So meaning to say we can form an equation from that. That's 3X is equal to the sum of these two, 58 plus X. What are we talking about there? The exterior angle in a triangle, this is uh, gonna affect us. So there we are talking of the exterior angle uh, of triangle in this case of a triangle that is considering triangle ABC. It must be equal to the sum of the opposite interior. So I'm just gonna write in short. So let's solve for X. We can take this X to the other side. It was a positive. The moment it crosses the equal sign, it becomes a negative. So that is minus is equal to 58. So let's subtract this an equation. We're gonna subtract like terms, three minus one there. We've got two X is equal to 58 degrees. Simply divide by two uh, to solve for X. That means you are going to obtain uh, 29 degrees. So that's we have got uh, the value of X. So this X here is simply uh, 29 degrees, all right? Then uh, another part, 8.12, uh, it has to find the value of Y. All right, so how can we calculate the value of Y? All right, that's 8.12. So if you are to consider, since we have already calculated this X, we can use angles on a straight line, you can use angles inside of a triangle. There are so many ways that you can use. You can calculate Y by subtracting uh, the 58 degrees from 180, everything from 180 degrees angles on a, uh, angles in a triangle. So we subtract the 58 degrees. We also subtract the 29 degrees representing, uh, representing X uh, that we calculated. Uh, we calculated this, so we, we know the value. So we can work with that, that value that you're given. Uh, that was going to be uh, 93 degrees. So the whole of this part was going to be uh, 93 degrees. Meaning to say we have got the value of Y in this case, which is 93 degrees. All right, we could have calculated the same Y in this way. Uh, remember the exterior angle. We have got our exterior angle there, which is given as 3x, and we calculated x as 29. So that's 3 times 29 degrees, uh, which was going to be something like 87 degrees. All right. But this 3x, which is our exterior angle of 87, and y, they are on a straight line. So we can subtract that from 180, uh, 180 degrees. That is subtracting 87 from 180 was going to give us 93 degrees. So that was another way, so many ways that you can use to find uh, Y there. So this one, we are talking of angles, okay? That is sum of angles, interior angles, sum 
and I'm just going to write in short sum of interior angles in a triangle, all right? In a triangle, there we are referring to the angles on a straight line, all right? So we're going to talk of angles on a straight line. So I don't know which way uh, that you can use them. Anyway, all right, 8.13, the value of Z. All right, we need to calculate the value of Z. This is where our Z is. All right, remember these lines are parallel. So Z is straight forward. Z is equal to X from the alternate angles. We are forming a Z look. So this Z here is equal to angle X. So these are alternate angles. So in this case, we could have just used alternate angles concept. All right, so that's 8.13. Uh, angle Z is uh, actually equal to angle X that we calculated before, which is 29 degrees, okay? So what is it that we are talking about there? We are talking of the alternate angles, all right? Since AE is parallel to BC, remember these two lines are parallel. So that is, we can consider alternate angles where we form a Z. So meaning to say this angle was gonna be 59 degrees. So many ways that we can actually use uh, as long there is a geometrical reason there, we can also consider another way. These two lines are parallel, so you can consider a C that is corresponding, I mean, uh, the co-interior angles here, these are co-interior. Remember, co-interior add up to 180 degrees. So Z was going to be from 180 degrees, you subtract the 58 degrees. It's part of these co-interior angles. You also subtract Y, which is 93 degrees. You subtract these from 180 degrees. Why? These are co-interior angles. Remember uh, the concept of your co-interior angles. So still, you are going to obtain the same angle of 29 degrees. So many ways. So there, we are referring to the co-interior uh, angles. Remember, co-interior angles, they add up to 180. So if we add these two uh, these angles that are here they are supposed to give us 180 so i don't know which one can you use anyway that you can apply as long it is uh from a geometrical reason that is why you are asked to calculate whatever that you are given there with reasons there must be a geometrical reason uh of whatever that you're going to calculate so these are the these are the typical exam questions actually that you must expect in your exams to come Till we meet again.